So like in our video team, we were building the Thrive team. I think we had, you know, I don't know how many guys. We probably had 15 dudes that we would have come up here to shoot. And some guys would be like, oh, yeah, I really want the job. I'm awesome. And you're like, cool. Then you say, well, hey, your resume looks good. I called your references. You made it through that. So let's go ahead and have you shadow. They're like, really? Yeah, I'll pay you to do a shoot this weekend. Let's do it. Let's book it. Let's go. Fast. Shadow me. Is that pot? That smells like pot. It's not me. It's not him. It's not her. You smell like pot. Are you smoking pot? Uh, my roommates smoke pot. So you don't smoke pot, but your roommates do. Yeah, okay, you're fired. Next one. And you just move on. And because you have a weekly interview, you don't have a problem with this. Um, Dr. Zellner, who's the CEO of Thrive, one of our bigger investors, he, um, imagine trying to hire doctors. Oh gosh, people can hold doctors, those are easier because they have a degree and they're, oh no, no. But he's found good ones. But did you guys see the episode where he talks about the doctor who tried to screw him over? Did you see about this? Yes. Oh yeah. So this doctor, like, waits until he has, he only has like three doctors at that time. So one of the doctors puts in the two week notice and so now he's down to two doctors. And so the, one of the doctors who's left is like, hey, I know it's bad time, but since this person's leaving, I would like a raise or I'm gonna leave too. Well, because Dr. Z always does group interviews and weekly, he always does week interview, every week he does interviews. As soon as he found another guy, he walked up to the guy who basically blackmailed him and said, hey Holmes, you're gone. <laughs> and was able to fire him with confidence. And that's how you need to run your business. But if you do the peak and valley system of recruiting where you only recruit when you need it, that stinks. Yeah, it does. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So really for you guys, what it looks like is we just lost five hours a week to specific meetings. Okay. Let's review those meetings. Okay. So we don't miss anything. Meeting one is accounting, right? And when's that going to be? Monday morning at 7 a.m. Boom. Then we have our motivation meeting at uh, Monday at 8.30. 8.30. Then we have our workflow meeting on Tuesdays at? Five. Okay, and you got your agendas, and you can always add to them. I'm, we're we're going to give you a digital copy, but you're going to want to have those agendas. Mm -hmm. Then you have a group interview on Wednesdays at? 12. Okay, you have a Thursday marketing meeting at? 5. Right? Yes. We got our date night, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what's awesome, guys, is when you do this, you know during my work day, I'm hard charging, bam! But then when I come home, I will go to Sprouts, because I told my daughter I would take her there, and that's where I'm going. So, like, because I've got it ordered, I know that the entire day I'm using the best use of my time. I've already sat down and planned my day, and I just go in hard charging. And on a scale of one to 10, I can honestly say I'm about a 10. And that's how you're gonna feel too. And the whole day, you're gonna be just And when you get home, you can go on a date, because you know that you've, but the problem is, is if we, there's a difference between thinking time and doing time. So the thinking is like, uh, you were in the military. And I certainly cannot relate to that. I don't want to compare business to, to war, but just to give an example, um, one of the gentlemen who I met in D.C., he was sharing with me some World War II stories. Mm -hmm. And he was sharing me uh, his experiences with uh, Normandy and all these, like, was, uh, I can't even imagine that, you know. But he was like, when that situation happens, you cannot think. You're just doing what you've been told. Yeah. And I talked to an Air Force pilot, and he was, I was like, he, his plane had crashed, but he'd survived. And I was like, how, how do you, I mean, when you're, how do you eject? And he's like, well, if you have to think about it, you're dead. But during training, we've done it so much that if we, this happens, this is what you do and you eject. And that's how I survived. So that's how you want to become with your business. Like during the day, I don't even like think really during my day. I'm just going. I think times like this where I plan, and then during the day, I just do. And that's going to be the biggest thing is making sure that we're executing this plan. Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Awesome. So then do we schedule in planning time? Well, these should be your planning times. Okay. So this is like, it's planning, but just about the subject of marketing. Okay. So like I need to schedule in time to have the stuff ready for the accounting meeting. And each week you'll begin to, it'll get better. Okay. It's just the first 90 days. Guys, I went like three years without, without having meetings. Oh, it's craziness. But once you start setting consistent times, it, it just all, it gets a lot easier. So right now, like I know we have a staff meeting for Thrive every 7 a.m. on Friday. 
and then eight we have our web meeting, and at nine we have, a, and at ten we have a strike. Right now, this morning, I had about three. What I emailed you, I had like three people that had emailed the content ideas, so I asked you to add it to the content sheet. I won't even think about that until I go into our content planning meeting, which is at a set time. Right. Make sense? Yeah.